What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the very first time. We're on book three. Aang and the gang are getting closer to their goal with every step. Sokka just branched out and uh, forged himself a sword made out of a meteorite. It was totally badass, and I really want to see him use it in action now. So hopefully we get that in this next episode. Moving forward, let's go. It's going to be great to hang out on the beach and do nothing. Doing nothing is a waste of time. We're being sent away on a forced vacation. I feel like a child. Suko's like, this is a filler episode. Look at these old timers. Welcome to Ember Island, kids. Who are these two beautiful women? That's them. That's totally them. Oh, it's me and me. <laughs> the beach has a special way of smoothing even the most ragged edges. <gasps> Time to hit the beach! Oh my. Do you really think you should be exposing yourself like that? Cover up. What? I'm wearing trunks. No, she means the tattoos. Know, it's your tattoos I'm worried about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing's completely safe as long as you're in Fire Nation territory. You should know that. Also, I'm not brave enough to jump into a water slide if I don't know what's on the other end. Boring job in the Fire Nation. Nothing ever happens. Yay! And Avatar. <laughs> the Avatar's alive. We better oh, shit. To the fire lord. oh, shit. Yeah, this is gonna really screw Zuko. A black ribbon message. This is so exciting. <laughs> black ribbon, that must be like top secret clearance. My god, Azula. I thought since it's so hot. Here. <laughs> this is really refreshing. Come on, Zuko's trying his best here. Man, I agree with Zuko. This is a waste of time. How much time are we going to spend on this damn beach? Well, now no one else can play. You set the net on fire. For all time, you will never rise from the ashes of your shame and humiliation. <sighs> that was fun. I'm having a party tonight. Your friend can come too. Uh, what about me and my brother? Aren't you going to invite us? Nah, you're mean to everyone. <laughs> Don't you know who we are? We're Chan and Ron John. Yeah. Yeah, they're Chan and Ron John. Just so you know, though, some of the most important teenagers in the Fire Nation are going to be at this party, so try and act normal. We'll do our best. Are there a lot of important teenagers in the Fire Nation? <laughs> okay, the message. Oh, shit. Oh, I was using the black ribbon to... No, this is more than just a, a, a prey situation. This is a coordinated attack. Yeah, see, look, he's stealing the message. He's stealing it. It's the bounty hunter. Yes, it's the bounty hunter. Okay, I forgot about this guy for a second. Wait, don't burn the message? <laughs> it's valuable evidence. A little early, no one's here yet. I heard you telling someone you'd be partying from dusk till dawn. It's dusk, so we're here. But that's just an expression. Man, Azula just like has autism. She just has, doesn't have the, she's like a brilliant but doesn't have the social cues, you know? She just thinks about it differently. That's that's what I've decided. That's that's my take on Azula. I think that she is just on the spectrum. That's a sharp outfit, Chan. You could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. <laughs> yeah, totally on the spectrum. First one's here, huh? Shut up, Chang. He thinks he's so great. Chan. Well, what do you think of him? I don't have any opinion about him. Zuko, don't be jealous. You like him, don't you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's one way to solve a problem, I guess. Those boys only like you because you make it so easy for them. You're not a challenge. You're a tease. It's not like they actually care who you are. Damn. That's pretty mean. Okay, okay, calm down. For some reason, when I meet boys, they act as if I'm going to do something horrible to them. <laughs> but 
that you probably would do something horrible to them. <laughs> I think you just have like a sociopathic aura that people can read, Azula. Smile a lot and laugh at everything he says, even if it's not funny. Well, that sounds really shallow and stupid. Let's try it. <laughs> How you like it in this party? <laughs> <laughs> I liked Ty Lee's uh, man impression. I used to come here years ago. It's a great place. If you like sand. <laughs> I don't like sand. I hate it. It's coarse and rough and irritating. It gets everywhere. Your arms look so strong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a man who knows how to take a compliment. You and I will be the strongest couple in the entire world. Take it down. Bring it down. <laughs> His face. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> hey, watch it. That food was for my cranky girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she seems to be doing okay. Stop talking to my girlfriend. Relax. It's just a party. Zuko, come on. Your temper's out of control. You blow up over every little thing. You're so impatient and hot-headed and angry. Oh, Zuko's getting dumped right now. You have no passion for anything. You're just a big blah. It's over, Zuko. We're done. Yeah. That's it. You're out of here. I was just leaving. It's too bad because they actually make a good couple because he's so fiery and she's so apathetic. It kind of balances out, you know? But Zuko needs a little more than that. I understand. Zuko, when are you going to realize you don't fit in here? You've seen too much of the world. You know that the Fire Nation isn't everything. Oh. Okay, so they do have a big beach house. They just don't use it. Oh, man. Ember Island's probably one of the last places he had, like, happy family times. Poor Zuko. Bounty Hunter time. Okay, here we go. You're all gonna think I'm crazy, but it feels like a metal man is coming. This dude is intense. Wait, what? He just shoot a fucking psionic blast out of his eyeball? Holy shit! Ah! Uh! This guy's badass and terrifying. Hey, where's your new boyfriend? Come on, Zuko, get over it. Are you cold? Shut up, Tylee. <laughs> ah! This is crazy! How can we beat a guy who blows things up with his mind? Careful, Aang. This is a new power. So, thinking about what the Guru said and what Iroh has said about firebending, this guy is, like, blasting fire out of his chakra? Is that how it's working? Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. He's ready for that. <sighs> Man, airbending is pretty powerful. Okay, but if we can take this guy out, then no one will know that Aang's alive again. Except for those two Fire Nation guards, but they fired off the message and that was the end of it. Rock armor! Yes! He knows who we are. Uh, where's Sokka? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? It's a painting of your family. You think I care? I think you do. You don't know me. I know you. No, you don't. You're stuck in your little Ty Lee world where everything's great all the time. Zuko, leave her alone. Circus freak. 
Yes, I'm a circus freak. Do you have any idea what my home life was like? Growing up with six sisters who look exactly like me? I joined the circus because I was scared of spending the rest of my life as part of a match set. Circus freak is a compliment. Guess that explains why you need ten boyfriends, too. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? You are an only child for 15 years. But even with all of that attention, your aura is this dingy, pasty, gray... I don't believe in auras. I'm sorry I can't be as high, strung, and crazy as the rest of you. Seriously, she's my favorite out of all of these people here. I was a rich, only child who got anything I wanted. As long as I behaved. And sat still. And didn't speak unless spoken to. Well, that's it then. You had a controlling mother who had certain expectations, and if you strayed from them, you were shut down. You want me to express myself? Leave me alone! Seriously. I like it when you express yourself. Don't touch me! I'm still mad at you. Damn, Zuko, you're so bad at reading signals. <laughs> Calm down, you guys. This much negative energy is bad for your skin. Normal teenagers worry about bad skin. I don't have that luxury. My father decided to teach me a permanent lesson on my face. For so long, I thought that if my dad accepted me, I'd be happy. I'm back home now. My dad talks to me. <laughs> he even thinks I'm a hero. Everything should be perfect, right? I should be happy now. But I'm not. Damn, Azula. Who are you angry at? No one. I'm just angry. Yeah. Who are you angry at, Zuko? Everyone. I don't know. He's probably angry at himself, but he should be married. He should be angry at Ozai. I'm not sure I know the difference between right and wrong anymore. You're pathetic. I know one thing I care about. I care about you. Those were wonderful performances, everyone. I don't have sob stories like all of you. I could sit here and complain how our mom liked Zuko more than me, but I don't really care. My own mother thought I was a monster. You are a monster. She was right, of course, but it still hurt. Didn't really hurt. You don't have feelings. I feel all smoothed. I'll always remember this. You know what would make this trip really memorable? We've got some bad news, Chan. Party's over. Why, though? Oh, whoa, that's cool. That's a totally different animation style. Okay, and that's the beach. That was a weird episode. Um, wasn't bad necessarily. I just don't feel like anything worthwhile really happened there. We got a lot of heart-to-hearts. We got some extreme beach volleyball and a house party. I guess um, Aang versus the bounty hunter was definitely the highlight of the episode for me. That was awesome. Man's just blowing stuff up with his mind. That is crazy. I don't know how we're supposed to deal with this guy. Um, it frustrates me that Zuko is still just, like, going through the motions of being part of Ozai's little family, his little entourage, instead of breaking off on his own and joining up with Aang. That's what I want him to do. I want him to go rescue Iroh and then get the hell out of the Fire Nation. I don't know if I'm going to get what I want. There's only so many episodes left. I don't know if, uh, my expectations for the end of this story are going to go the way I think they are. Um, getting nervous. Um, really enjoying the show, though. Can't wait to watch some more, so stay tuned. Uh, reactions will be dropping right here on the channel once per week. If you don't want to wait a week, however, you can go to my Patreon page. There's a link to that in the description of the video, where you can watch all of the full-length reactions to Avatar and a couple of other things, too. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!